in darkness. I shall be light. Times of doubt. I shall keep faith. of rage. I shall hone my craft. In vengeance, I shall have no mercy. No fear. Welcome to the first Dawn of War 3 tutorial. 
This first tutorial will teach the basic gameplay mechanics you need to know in order to play Dawn of War 3, such as basic combat and base and army building. For the purpose of this tutorial, you will be playing as Space Marines. Move the game camera towards your stronghold. The Space Marines start with the Stronghold as their headquarter building. The Stronghold is used to deploy builder units and basic combat units. We will begin by setting a rally point from your Stronghold onto the battlefield. Set a rally point at the indicated position. Good work. The rally point has been set. When you deploy units from your Stronghold, they will immediately move to the rally point. Next, we will build your forces, starting with a Tactical Marine Squad. Deploy a Tactical Marine Squad from your stronghold. Tactical Marines are a ranged infantry unit that serves as the Space Marine's basic line unit. Tactical. Your Tactical Marine Squad is deployed. Tactical Squad. In order to build other kinds of units, you will need to construct additional kinds of base buildings. Base buildings are constructed by builder units. The Space Marine Builder Unit is the Servitor. Deploy a Servitor from your stronghold. The Servitor is weak in combat, but is able to construct additional base buildings. These buildings can be used to deploy new kinds of units. Servitor to... This one's function is as follows. To build a new base building, select your servitor and move it to the indicated build location. Embarking. Construct a barracks at the indicated build location. Chapel barracks will be made for the template. is complete. You can use it to deploy new kinds of units. Like your stronghold, you can also set a rally point by selecting your barracks and then issuing a right click on the battlefield. We will now deploy assault marines from your new barracks. Deploy two assault marine squads from your barracks. Assault Units that are in progress are added to your build queue at the bottom of the screen. When a unit is finished, the next unit in the build queue will become in progress. This allows you to queue up several units for deployment at once. Assault Marines! Your first Assault Marine squad is finished. Unlike Tactical Marines, Assault Marines specialize in melee combat instead of ranged combat. They are equipped with jump packs and cost more resources to deploy. Assault Marine Squad. All of your Assault Marine Squads are deployed. You are ready to take your forces into battle. You can select multiple units at once by box selecting a group of units. Click and drag to box select all of your units at once. To more easily manage your units, you can assign your selected units into control groups. Assign your tactical and assault marines to a control group. Tactical to help you better manage different kinds of units, they can be put in multiple control groups at once. There is enemy activity behind the fog of war. 
They will appear once your units are close enough to see them. Find the enemy behind the fog of war and eliminate them. Inbound to Mark's location. Right click on the enemy to attack. Understood. Go ahead. There is a health pickup ahead. You can restore a squad's health by moving it over to a pickup. There are more enemies ahead. This time, we will move your units with the attack move command. Units using attack move will move to the specified location and automatically stop to attack enemies encountered along the way. Issue an attack move command to move your units. Forging ahead. Destroy the enemy. Attack move is more safe, efficient, and effective than using the right click move. Right click move is for positioning units within combat or for escaping combat. Learning which move command is appropriate to the situation at hand will make you a better commander. The enemy is trying to gain a tactical advantage by capturing that heavy cover. Capturing heavy cover activates a shield that protects the units inside from ranged damage. Your ranged units cannot enter heavy cover that has been captured by the enemy. Only units with the counter cover property, such as assault marines, can enter captured heavy cover and fight enemy units inside. Since the heavy cover is located on higher ground, your squads cannot reach it on foot. Use your assault marines jump ability to leap them into the heavy cover. It is also possible to destroy heavy cover with ranged damage. Destroy the enemy. Understood. Under attack! Exterminate the green skins! For the purposes of this tutorial, you have been granted an additional squad. This squad has suffered a casualty and is no longer at full strength. We will reinforce this squad back up to full strength. Move this damaged unit to your stronghold or barracks to begin reinforcement. It costs resources to reinforce a squad, but it is always cheaper than purchasing a new squad. Assault squad ready. To see if your unit is within reinforcement range, simply select the building and view the rotating reinforcement reticule on the ground. The squad's reinforcement will pause if it moves away from the reinforcement structure. Reinforcement will resume once the squad moves back into range of the reinforcement structure. Move this squad to a base building for reinforcement. has been reinforced. A fully reinforced squad is always stronger than one who has taken casualties. The enemy is preparing to mount an attack on your base. We will deploy two scout sniper squads to bolster your defenses. Scout snipers have a larger line of sight and firing range than other Space Marine line units. You can use scout snipers to see and attack enemies that are much further away. Sniper. Your first squad of scout snipers has been deployed. Deploy one more scout sniper squad from your barracks. They are weak against melee attackers, so keep them stationed behind your other units. Your scout snipers are ready for combat. 
The enemy is marching towards your stronghold. Position your units to intercept the enemy attack. your stronghold. Kill the enemy. Tactical Marines ready. ready. Assault. Just Just on the move. Boss, Boss, us. Us. Speak. Infantry ready. ready. Done. At your command. Infantry in our kill zone. Tactical squad attacking. Green built. What is your order? Infantry is exposed. Situation. Awaiting we orders. are battling a weak enemy force. We will send you to your graves. Well done. This completes your first set of lessons on Dawn of War 3. You are ready to proceed to the next tutorial. Welcome to the second Dawn of War 3 tutorial. This tutorial will cover elite units, resource capture, line unit upgrades, and advanced combat. We will begin by calling in an elite unit, Gabriel Angelos. Elite units are stronger than line units and possess powerful abilities. They are not deployed from base structures, but are equipped before a match and unlocked in battle by spending elite points. Deploy elite unit Gabriel Angelos to the battlefield. Our elite battle brothers are ready to deploy. Gabriel is a powerful melee unit with crowd control abilities. He will accompany your line units and give them a decisive advantage. Gabriel Angelos is deployed and ready for combat. Take Gabriel and your line units to locate a nearby resource point. Gabriel, resource out. points will boost your income and allow you to further build your army. The foe is in heavy cover. Kill the enemies blocking the path to get to the resource point. Target kill. The enemy is now out of your way. Press further to the resource point. Tactical There's the resource point. Move your units inside the resource point's capture radius in order to capture the point. Your units must remain within the capture radius until the capture timer is full in order to own the resource point. The point is yours. You cannot gain resources from a point until you upgrade it with an add-on. Purchase the requisition add-on by clicking the requisition add-on button over the resource point. Requisition generator boosts the amount of requisition you gain from a point. 
Requisition is the resource used for purchasing vehicle upgrades and infantry units. A power generator is the second type of resource add-on that you can construct. Power is the resource used to construct infantry upgrades and vehicle units. Most upgrades and unit purchases require a little of both of these resources. The requisition generator is finished. You will now gain requisition from this resource point. Let us further increase the requisition we are getting from this add-on by purchasing the points resource upgrade. When your point is done upgrading, the amount of resources it generates will be increased. are on their way to attack your resource point. Move Gabriel to the entry point to guard the area. Kill the enemy. damage to his health. Base buildings have an ability called Healing Aura that heals elites. Out of combat elites that stand next to a base building will have their health restored. Move Gabriel next to your base building to heal him. Tactical Marines ready. Tactical squad. You have my favor and the Emperor's. Gabriel has been healed and is ready to return to the battle. Tactical shall be done. We must now take the fight to the enemy. We will use scout squads to track down the enemy. Deploy two scout squads from the barracks. Scouts are stealth units with a large line of sight. Stealth units can only be sighted by enemy detector units. You have your first squad of scouts. Deploy one more. All builder units, such as the Servitor, have the ability to detect stealth units. Your scout squads are ready. Before we take your infantry into battle, we will upgrade their attack strength at the Arsenal building. The Arsenal is the Space Marine's upgrade structure. Use your Servitor to construct the Arsenal. You can locate your Servitor by double-clicking the Servitor's portrait in your unit queue. Preparing Arsenal construction. With the 
arsenal finished, you can now purchase upgrades for your line units. New abilities for some line units can also be purchased from an upgrade structure. With an upgrade structure, you can purchase health and damage upgrades for your line units. Purchase the infantry damage upgrade from the arsenal. The infantry damage upgrade boosts the damage of basic infantry units. Building an arsenal also gives your tactical marine squads the ability to upgrade themselves with powerful late game weaponry. We will now upgrade a tactical marine squad with the plasma gun upgrade. Select a tactical marine squad and left click the plasma gun upgrade. Tactical marines ready. Plasma guns are powerful ranged weapons that fire more rapidly while stationary. If they sustain fire too long while stationary, their guns will overheat and have to cool before resuming fire. Now that your army is upgraded, use it to investigate the hostile area outside of your base. Remember to use your scout squad's stealth capabilities to scout ahead. There are enemies ahead. However, there is a patch of stealth cover you can use to hide your units. Units inside stealth cover are hidden from view from enemy units outside of it. This allows your units to scout what lies behind stealth cover without revealing themselves to enemies on the other side. Enemy units can gain sight of your units only if they enter the stealth cover with your units. Use stealth cover to ambush your enemies. Angelos here, I lead you. Make way! Space Marines! Tactical yeah! squad target in over us! We will use the Emperor's Angels are dead! You've slain an enemy squad! The area ahead is treacherous. Use your scouts to scout out any hostile enemies ahead. Do not let your scouts become detected. We disappear into the field. Tactical squad. We are ready for war. I hear you. It shall be done as you like it. Very good. There may be enemies inside that stealth cover. Use your camouflaged scouts to safely scout any enemies in the stealth cover. Kill the enemies you find. Tactical squad. Go ahead, come The on. might of the blood. Let them do New target, brothers. Yes, my lord. Tactical squad. There is an enemy force up ahead. Scout out the enemy force on the upper platform. Secured. The enemy has captured the next resource point and built a listening post to protect it. A listening post is a structure with a ranged weapon that also protects resource add-ons from damage. Before you can destroy enemy add-ons or capture an enemy point, you must first destroy the listening post that protects it. Once the listening post is gone, you can destroy the enemy add-ons and take the point for yourself. Destroy the listening post. Chapter command. Right your target and see it fall. He who fights with me shall be marching there now. We are now. ready for war. Doing it now. Under attack. The the Destroy the listening post. This day holds repositioning. Tactical Marines ready! Yes, sire! Structure destroyed! The listening post is destroyed, and the resource point is now vulnerable to capture. Capture the resource point. I'll have it for us! Well done. This 
completes your second Dawn of War 3 tutorial. You are ready to proceed to the last tutorial, which centers around Dawn of War 3 multiplayer. Welcome to the battlefield, brother. This tutorial will teach you the mechanics unique to a multiplayer match. You've arrived just in time. The enemy has destroyed our critical structures and exposed our power core for attack. The battle will result in defeat if our power core is destroyed. However, if we can fight back and destroy the enemy's power core, victory is ours. We need your elite unit, Gabriel Angelos, to swing this battle in our favor. However, we need to accumulate enough elite points to deploy him. You gain elite points over time, but you can speed up point accumulation by constructing an elite point generator on a resource point. This resource point is already captured. You can construct add-ons and listening posts on any point captured by you or an ally. All your teammates will gain full economic benefit from a point's add-ons. The enemy is upon us. Defend our resource point until we have enough elite points to deploy Gabriel Angelos. Left click on the elite point generator button above the resource point in order to deploy Gabriel faster. Our elite points will increase faster once the point is done upgrading to the new add-on. Reinforcements are on their way. Kill the remaining enemies. Understand dead men walking. Now is our chance to counterattack. In order to achieve victory, we must destroy the enemy's critical structures. The structures are the shield generator, the turret, and finally the power core. These structures grant defenses to each other, so they must be destroyed in that order. Destroy the shield generator. Chapter Command fights with you. Marching there now.
destroy the shield generator. The enemy is trying to take cover behind the shield generator's shield. We must destroy its shield before we can destroy the shield generator. Destroy the shield generator. Reporting target kill. Firing on all his targets. You die one by one. Back is gone. Destroy the shield generator. Destroying it rewards us with extra resources, and also makes the turret vulnerable. Your ally is recklessly attacking the turret. The turret will infrequently fire a beam attack that damages units in a line. The turret has a triggerable ability called Shockwave that stuns units around it. The turret's basic attack will cycle between different units to fire on if multiple units are in range. Ensure you space out your units while fighting the turret. Repositioning! Attack and destroy the turret. Tactical Marines, yes, sire. Oh, I will ensure it. Both onward unto victory. Firing down range, aim us. Fresh reinforcements are on their way. Fresh reinforcements are on their way. Requisition. Destroying the turret has rewarded us with resources as well. The power core is now vulnerable for attack. The enemy has penetrated our base. They must have snuck around. The power core has a shelter ability you can activate. Activate power core shelter to buy time for us to reposition our troops and drive the enemy back. your stronghold and use the mass recall ability. Any of your units outside of combat will be teleported back to the stronghold. Defend our power core from the enemy. Our emergency recall ability is available. Devastator squad. Volta. Defend our power core from the enemy. Targets my name your target. The enemy's power core is now wide open for counterattack. Destroy their power core. The enemy has sheltered their power core just like you did. Their power core is invulnerable while it is sheltered. Focus on killing the enemy forces until the shelter expires. I will not falter! This day holds glory! Destroy their power core. Make way! We 